So the next thing I'm going to make for you is something that hails from Nona Saporito. And it is called an S cookie. Let me just move this out of my way back here and take my vanilla with me. Now, S cookie, just what its name implies. It's shaped like an S. And again, you start out basically by making or by sifting the dry ingredients together. Here I have three and a half cups of unbleached flour and about a half, a, two cups of sugar. And in here I want to add the sugar, which I haven't put in yet. So there it is. Put the All right, wait a minute, I didn't put the baking powder in. I've got to put that in. I'm forgetting about this right now. So there's my baking powder and my baking soda. Sometimes I do this in my sifter altogether, but today I'm just going to mix it up with my hands like so. So you want to get the dry ingredients mixed together and add a pinch of salt to this. Oh, about an eighth of a teaspoon. Then you want eggs. And here we have four large eggs that need to be beaten up. You want to beat up the eggs and have ready your two cups of sugar. Remember, in the bowl you have the three and a half cups of flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, the pinch of salt. Here you've got the eggs and the sugar. So the sugar goes in. Looks like a lot of sugar, doesn't it? But actually, this is a wonderful tasting cookie. And it's very crisp. And of course, originally, my mother told me that my grandmother made these in a meat grinder. And they came out shaped like S's or sometimes the figure eight. So now I'm going to add my vanilla a little bit of vanilla, about a tablespoon, because I like vanilla. And here's my lemon juice, about two tablespoons of lemon juice go in here. And then you want about a cup of melted and then cooled shortening. So that's going to go in. Now, I have to tell you, originally, this was lard that went in here. And it made a very wonderful tasting cookie. But because we're all so health conscious today, I've eliminated the lard. And I don't think it affects the taste of the cookie too much. So get that all mixed up, like so. And then get your flour into this egg batter. You see how quickly this goes together? All right, there's our batter. Now. Let me show you what to do. Put this aside. Let me clean up a little bit here. We don't want to be sloppy. And get out a cookie tray. Put your oven on at 350 degrees. And then get a pastry bag. These are for people who know what they're doing. Those of you who don't can do these by hand. Now I'm going to need a smaller spoon. So then take some of that batter, you see? and put it right in the bag, about a half inch wide. So now you want to form the S's. You see? There's one. There's two. Three. Whoop, that has a little curly cue on it, but that's all right. And give these enough space because they are going to spread as they're cooked. Now, if you didn't want to do this with a pastry bag, you could do this by rolling the dough out under the palm of your hand and just forming the S's uh, by hand. So I'm just going to fix that there. That looks like a kindergarten S, but that's OK. This goes into a 350 degree oven. And you want to let those cook until they're just golden brown. And when they're done, whoa, here they are.